All right, Chris, let's look forward. Arizona State's got the ball. What can they do to try and slow down this pass rush that's just killing them from Illinois? Well, they're going to have to go max protection, use the back to help chip the edge guys to slow them down. Yeah, they're going to try to run the football to neutralize that defense. And look at that. Cameron Marshall channeling his inner Peyton Hillis leaping over a defender. And you know why? It's because the defensive backs kept hitting him low around his ankles. So he felt that coming. He does a nice leap at the end to cap off that run. Pickup of 16 yards, best rumble of the ball game for the junior from San Jose. Now Marshall replaced by Middlebrooks in the backfield. Play fake, flu grab, down to the 22. Tackle made by Steve Hall, who was out a moment ago being attended to. And now it looks like he's dealing with something again. Could it be dehydration? Looks like it could be a cramp. Hall was a receiver last year before being converted to the secondary. Next Saturday, it's another Big Ten football triple header. First, the Wolverines head in action against San Diego State. Brady Hoke against his former players and the Badgers squaring off against South Dakota. And in prime time, the Gophers of Minnesota hosting North Dakota State. Or you'll see other matchups next Saturday in HD only on BTN. Nice win today for Michigan. Didn't suffer letdown against Eastern Michigan. Final score 31-3. A little bit of everything for the Wolverines. Second down and three. Marshall has the first down and then some ridden down by Merciless. But Marshall gets down to the 15. All they're doing is just running the ball right up the gut. The big 225 pound back and Marshall running right into the teeth of the Illini defense. Chewing up some of the clock while in the process. Under a minute to play here in this third quarter. Illinois hasn't beaten the Pac-10 team since 2001 when they took down the Cal Golden Bears. Osweiler tackled at the line of scrimmage by the middle backer Ian Thomas. I like that they put a shot on him. When you get a chance to put a shot on a big quarterback, you got to make him pay. If he wants to go and try and run it, you got to tattoo him. That's what Thomas did on that play. Osweiler was just looking to the referee, and I don't know if they want to snap this ball here in the third quarter. They don't need to. They've struggled in the red zone. Yep, Osweiler, no intention of getting that play off. He wants to save it for quarter number four. Four fingers in the air, 15 minutes left to play. Illinois on top of Arizona State by three. Fourth quarter. Brock Osweiler and Arizona State have a second and nine. Illinois had to go to their bench. Pat Nixon Yeoman is the new strong safety. He wears number four. Watch number eight, Jarrell Robinson. Design quarterback draw. And Osweiler, he's going to score. Well, how, have you, how can you be sneaky if you're 6'8", 240 pounds? I don't know how you do it, but he just did it. It's the element of surprise. They were not expecting that. Who would think a 6'8 quarterback's going to have a design draw play in that scenario? Great play call by Noel Mazzoni, offensive coordinator at Arizona State. So that's the first touchdown for either side since the 7.04 mark of the first quarter. Extra point is true, and that gives Arizona State their first lead of the ball game. That was great strategy. The 6A guy, you can't hide him. But he finds a lane, good presence, good feel. And of course, when he gets down there, he can finish the deal. Went right at the substitute player, Pat Nixon Yeoman. Welcome to the game. Here's our 6'8 quarterback.